folks. We are currently on the way towards Thumbrist, heading to Waterfall, which I've never actually checked out before myself, in order to get some shots for my shutter speed camera basics episode. And obviously it's always just good to get out there in nature, have a nice day out. So we're going along for the adventure. It's not a hard place to get to at all, I don't think. But run away now. We're currently up on top of the Denby Moors. So you never know, there might be a couple of shots on the way. Although it does look very cloudy over the mountains, so perhaps not. Either way, let's go. Okay, so, just parked up, on the way towards the waterfalls now, you can probably hear it anyway. Little top tip when you're looking to buy a tripod, especially if you're doing any outdoors work, find one with these rubber grips on it, it's just so much nicer to hold rather than the cold, bare metal. <laughs> yeah, life saving. I seem to have found myself in a hailstorm. So this, as you might have guessed, is the Conway Valley. Down that way is Thomas. I know how to pick the weather for it, don't I? Look well, there, it's the waterfall. The waterfalls, I should say. They're sort of known as the twin waterfalls. Grey Mare's Tail, it's called, this place. Not the famous Grey Mare's Tail, it was up, up north somewhere, but recently it has been raining quite a lot, which is why I haven't been out very much, plus the fact that I've been busy. So they look to be in pretty good force right now, so let's get down there, it's quite steep. And yeah, despite the fact that it's literally just outside Van Roost, right in the middle of Snowdonia, they don't seem to be very well known, really which is ideal for me, because I don't like people, generally, so with any luck, I might have a place to myself. I think I'm right, I've got a place to myself. Deal. Look at this. This is Ace. Can't believe I've never been here before. I used to work as the crow flies about a mile over there and I've never been here. I was there for a year and a half. Mega. I'm not sure how exactly I go about getting down there. Uh, if you saw one of my last videos you'll know I don't actually have a wide angle lens yet for the Sony system. The widest I have is 28mm. So yeah, let's see what we can do. Okay, so hopefully you can still hear me. I managed to find myself right in the middle of the river. Um, it's just literally just a bit of an island in the middle. I've got this nice big log right here leading up to the waterfalls. So I'm going to have a play around, try and do something with that. Okay, so I've had a bit of a play around. Um, I've not really settled on any shots yet, but I mentioned this log. Unfortunately, it's not so much a leading line. It just goes straight forward in between the two waterfalls, which I don't really find that interesting. So I'm half thinking of coming down halfway towards here, where I can then angle my shot. So I've got 
the log on a bit of an angle and more or less leaving out the smaller waterfall just concentrating on the bigger one so I'll give that a go in a second and then I have brought some filters along with me I've actually brought the Format High Tech Firecrest 6 stop ND which I don't think I've used in probably getting on for a year but because I'm doing this video on shutter speeds yeah, it goes hand in hand with that so I thought I'd crack it out and then more recently I actually bought the 2-5 to five stop Caller Pro Peter McKinnon variable ND as well which not so much for photo I'm sure it worked great I bought it for my video work obviously right now I'm using the Osmo action and the filter is a little bit too big for this but I tell you what for the professional video work that I've done so far using that filter it has been spot on so I might well consider getting the 6 to 9 stop as well but I don't know I'll keep an eye on eBay see if there's any second hand okay so more for this video than the tuition video I'm liking this shot I think for the tutorial I'm just going to focus on the water forget about composition completely just so I can demonstrate what shutter speed does but I'm quite liking this photo um, even though I'm shooting at F9 I'm focusing on some leaves quite close to me on the log and then further back on the waterfall as well so I'm going to try and focus stack them um, I'm using the Tamron 2875mm on the Sony a7 III it looks like it isn't quite far focal I can see a little bit of breathing in between the near and far focus shots but still I'm sure they're sharp as hell I have cracked out the Pete McKinnon Polar Pro variable ND pretty certain the optical quality is top notch so I have no qualms at all about using this over the square filter system so all the way out at 5 stops ND that's taking my exposure down to 5 seconds so yeah see what that does as well okay starting to head back now so just heading back up just carrying the Zeiss 55mm just in case there's any little shots I want to grab on the way back into the car park yeah it's been a good little morning got some decent shots I think as examples for my camera basics series I hope anyway I'll find out when I get home I suppose I've got scripts written for all of them by the way as well as one of them actually filmed ready to go I just needed some example images so yeah they'll be coming out soon it was a few months ago now that I released the first one which was a bit rubbish as well so much went wrong with that video but I still mashed it together got it out there so all right I'm gonna head back up grab some food head home edit these images you forget how nice the weather is when you're deep inside the forest as well look at the valley right now gorgeous day Okay hey guys, we're back in the car, so I'm going to sign off here, there's no fun in watching me have my lunch, so thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, um, hope you liked the images as well. If you're interested in the camera basics series that I'm doing, do be sure to hit subscribe down at the bottom there, because they will be coming out, hopefully most of them in the next month or so. If you liked it, do give it a like as well, if you didn't like it, give it a couple of dislikes. I've got affiliate links for all the gear I use down in the bottom there for the Amazon UK store. They also have my kit list as well down there. So like I say, I'm signing off. So until next time, 
Hope you enjoyed it. Get out there yourself shooting and I'll see you in the next one.